During these strange lockdown times, I welcome VR Fitness app. So when Supernatural came out, it intrigued me because there's a monthly fee attached. Does that mean it will provide something we haven't seen before? Good day, people. Cass here, and I want to answer this question today. Supernatural is a newly released app that is supposed to be a full fitness package for virtual reality. This app reminds you a bit of the 360 mode in Beat Saber, but it's not a one-time buy and play it forever kind of thing as we are used to with our VR games. You have to pay a monthly fee to get access to the workouts, but you do get personal coaches like him and her. Hmm. But let's find out if it's worth it, but make sure to stick around until the end to hear if I think it is. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing for more. And now, join me beyond reality. At the time of making this video, there's an introductory rate of 19 US dollars a month and a free trial of 30 days. For this, you get new full body workouts every day and various personal trainers who are called coaches in this game. And after you've gotten these workouts, they are available to you on demand. Some other features include tracking your progress with the companion app, scheduling workouts and following friends for some healthy competition. You can also connect the heart monitor, but to check which are supported, you can check out the frequently asked questions page on the Supernatural website, which I've linked below. But I think this is the first time that we see a fitness app in VR that's subscription based. And my first impressions are that $19 a month is pretty expensive unless it can provide me something unique. So let's talk about the gameplay first. In Supernatural, you can do workouts that are between 12 to 30 minutes long and each workout consists of multiple songs and environments. Before the workout, the coach will speak to you for a bit, letting you know where to focus on and they will introduce the environment and sometimes even the music to you too. I do like that little intro, it makes it feel more special to know where I am standing and I mean, who doesn't mind looking at her? <laughs> Oops, I mean not uh, just kidding babe. During the exercises, the coach's voice will stay to try and amp you up. I sometimes enjoy the talking as they help me focus. For example, the coach will remind you to hit harder, to keep your form and to keep on breathing. <laughs> yes, this might sound strange, but a lot of people forget to breathe sometimes during workouts, like me. It's actually weird that I'm still alive. But yeah, the talking can motivate me sometimes to go just a bit just a bit harder, even when I'm that tired. And trust me, these workouts can get you absolutely exhausted. However, there is no option to turn the voice off. And I think there should be, as the speaking can be distracting as well. The core gameplay movement is hitting targets with two bats in the right direction and corresponding to the color. It's not only front facing, it is 360 degrees and uh, this gameplay actually very much reminds us of Beat Saber's 360 mode. Except in here, you are not only training your arms but Supernatural also exercises your back, chest and core with different targets. Some targets have tails that you have to follow with big open arm swings. Some targets have uh, arrows that show you that you have to turn your real life body while keeping your core tight. No worries, it will all be explained in the tutorial. Then the game also exercises your lower body with squats and side lunges. Those are done with these triangles. Another interesting aspect of the workouts is that it also calibrates to you. Not all workouts are dynamic, but some changes to a harder or lower difficulty depending on how you play. You can see if it's a dynamic workout when you start an exercise in the app. After each song, there's a point system that shows you your total accuracy, power and score. And at the end of the workout, you will get a short outro by the coach and sometimes even a short cooldown. And those were the core gameplay mechanics of Supernatural. The rest looks good as well, like the user interface gives me a nice futuristic vibe. The scaling looks great. In the video here, it might look like the person in front of me is tiny, but she actually looks great and like human size when in the VR headset. Then we have the beautiful photorealistic environments and those look excellent as well. But do I think all this is worth paying $19 a month for? I can answer that question now. After a special thanks to my right hand patron, Bexon VR, support him, supporting us by checking out his YouTube channel.
Now, while a game that exercises your full body is definitely welcome, I don't see myself paying this fee for this game, as there are other games out there that could give me the same kind of workout. I could combine Beat Saber and Pistol Whip, for example, for a full body workout, or even Box VR that also has exercises with squats and lunges and are made by personal trainers. Then, to connect the heart monitor, I can just use the free app Your Fit. But more importantly to me, in games like Beat Saber, I feel awesome playing the game and that distracts me from the workout. In Supernatural, I am not so sure about that yet. The game feels more like a workout than a game and I am honestly not sure if that is going to work out for me. Right now, after playing it twice, the game still feels fun though, but if the game stays like this, I wonder if I'm not going to get bored with it. Don't get me wrong, as I don't think the game is bad, it feels polished actually. However, I need something more unique or more diversity in gameplay. If I paid that kind of money, I would have expected something more like maybe workouts tailored to my personal fitness goals. What do you think about the gameplay and its price? Let me know in the comments below. And if you are interested, Supernatural is available now on the Oculus Quest only. And uh, if you uh, want to try it out, you can in the free 30 day trial. However, I do have to know that you need to fill out your credit card info to activate the trial. So you need to remind yourself to cancel in time. You also need an updated iOS or Android phone to connect with the app and a pretty fast internet connection. They actually recommend a 20 megabits per second speed. Also, currently Supernatural is only available in the US and Canada, but the devs have told me that they are working on making it available in more countries. However, that will take time. As you know, I'm in Europe, so I used a VPN to make it work. But anyways, that's it for this video. Leave a like to support us and I hope to see you all in the next. Stay healthy and as always, VR on!